Hello, we are going to go through lesson 10. Lesson 10 is a graphic informational text. Graphic means picture, information means writing about something without any opinion, just uh, facts so that you can understand a topic. When we read an article, we first thing we want to do is look at the title. So always go to the top and we see tired teenagers. Hmm, okay. Tired teenagers. What do I know about tired teenagers? Ask yourself, always ask yourself a question. What do I know about this? What do I think this will be about? After you've done that, uh, look a little bit down. Sometimes there's a subheading or some more information. You can see this comes from a professional uh, uh, source. So an academic source, um, and you can also Google these to just, you know, satisfy yourself that these are factual um, and reliable sources. Uh, see that we have an A, B, C. Okay, what does that mean? That means this is paragraph A, this is paragraph B, paragraph C. Figure one, oh, there's a figure. What's a figure? A figure is like a graph or a chart. Um, so what do we see here? We look at the top first, just like the title, percent of students in each weeknight sleep period. So percent of students in each weeknight. So this is the percentage of students in each weeknight sleep period. So sleep periods and how much sleep they're getting, the percent of students that are getting that sleep. So here's the percent of students, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20%. So as we go up, there's 5. There's five, right? It's following that line. It says five there, so it's that's helpful. Hours of weeknight sleep. Okay, we see the hours. Here's zero to six hours, six to seven hours, seven to eight hours, eight to nine hours. That's how much they're actually sleeping. What I would do when I look at this, I say, well, which group is sleeping the most? Which percentage of students is uh, having, let's say, the, the, the most common hours of weeknight sleep? which one is having the least, and then you can uh, kind of at least have some information while, you, while you're reading. Read through it. Um, there's some, uh, some more figures, some more paragraphs, percentage of students very sleepy at different time periods. So we have the percentage of students that are very sleepy. That's gonna be the percentage of students that are very sleepy, and then different time periods. Here's the time periods, the times of day. 8 to 10 a.m., 10 to 12 a.m. You probably feel the same way when you're Know, during the day. This is kind of like the rhythm of life. Another figure, um, working over 15 hours associated with decreased performance. So uh, we have the hours worked here. This means greater than 15, 1 to 15, and this means there's no job and there's percentage of students. The white is grades down. The slight dots, the few dots are the fewer school activities, and the lines are often sleepy. So you can see uh, what happens when people work more or work less. Then we get to the bottom with the questions. Purpose of the sleep study was to, one mark, you just say A, B, C, or D. You can do this on another, uh, like a Word doc, and just write questions for tired teenagers, 1A, or 1B, or 1C, or 1D. Don't have to write it out again. I'm just going to go through each one. When you see the question, one tip that I'm going to give you is if you see like percentage of students sleep less, uh, then you're going to say, hmm, did I ever see that information in a graph or did I ever see that information in the uh, writing? Uh, let's just see if this is going to work. Yes, so what I did is I pressed Control, I highlighted it, pressed Control C, and then I pressed Control F, and then I pressed Control V for, um, for uh, paste. So Control C is copy, Control F is find, that's this thing up here, and Control V is paste. Then I press Enter. There's all the other percentages here. That's not really helping us. Let's just see, uh, hours per night. Let's see if we can find hours per night. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put in the find. No. Um, maybe I can find sleep. Let's say copy, paste, 
There's sleep. Oh, there's sleep there. Sleep there. See how it's finding it through the document? So this can save you time looking for keywords that might help you find the answers. Here we have uh, short answers, so make sure you write in the complete sentence. This would be one sentence, one fact, one mark. One sentence, one fact, one mark. This would be two sentences, two facts, two marks. Suggest means your own ideas, okay? So you're inferencing. Identify means find it in the article. Um, and this one is also going to be find it in the article, okay? I hope this was helpful. And uh, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.